Hey everybody, it's Jim with Triple J Bricks. Welcome to another video. I'm sitting in the car, and uh, I know what I told you. I told you in an earlier video that I was not going to get any more bulk Lego. I said that. At the time, I, I meant it. You know, I, 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 at the time, I thought that was going to be the case for now. Um, and so things have changed. And now I'm gonna go meet a guy named Zach who has potentially 35 pounds in a huge bin of Lego, uh, including some old 90s sets, including the sheriff, a sheriff set that I had as a kid um, with the minifigs and all. And so I'm going to go see what else he's got in that bin because he's selling it for a really solid price. And so we'll see what happens. So I know what you're thinking. Jim, do you need 35 pounds of Lego, more Lego? And the answer is absolutely not. But my wife found this listing, so technically I wasn't seeking it out. Uh, she sent me the listing and asked if I wanted it and uh, we took a look at it and we said yes. So I'm meeting Zach at his place of work. Um, you know, you gotta give the guy dedication for bringing a 35 pound box of Lego to his job to sell. It's pretty impressive. So, and I think I see him now. So we're gonna go meet him. Okay. So Zach, he's trying to get some money to go to college. Uh, he's a young kid. Uh, he's starting his first year of college in like three weeks. He's going to California. So uh, he's just trying to get rid of a bunch of like old stuff that he's got. And this kid, this skinny kid comes out with this massive bin. <laughs> Let me show you. It's a beautiful glow on the Lego right now. Here it is. This is uh, just brimming with Lego, uh, absolutely brimming, and some trash, arguably. Uh, there's definitely some things in here that are not, but uh, this is partly his old collection, uh, parts of other Lego that he picked up, but he had the Sheriff set, which I have, uh, and I think that was probably a good seller for him, um, because, yeah, he's got these minifigs in here. He said there might be more minifigs in it. He didn't really know. He couldn't really remember, but, uh, yeah, tons of parts, but this is just massive. Uh, and the fact that he brought it to where he worked is just, that is next level. So uh, this will be quite a project. We're gonna have to do this in phases. This is gonna be quite a like cleaning and going through type of thing. He gave it to me for 200 bucks. And that's a really, really solid deal for that much Lego. Um, again, <clears throat> I'd have to do the math on that, but I'm sure I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here as to what that nets out per piece. But he said there were a lot of old sets in it and um, vintage stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. But you know what? We helped out uh, a young kid trying to go to college. So I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about the whole deal. Okay. The pieces, I made it home. Pieces are literally coming out of it while I was driving. Um, so I gotta get this in the house now and find a place for it. Oh. Okay, I made it in the house with the, with the box. I think what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna have to start filming the how I clean my Lego video, how I clean bulk Lego. I think we're gonna have to do that video pretty quickly here because I 
Don't have a ton of room for this. It's huge. It's overflowing. We'll we'll kind of do an assessment to see you know if it was a good deal or not. Um, I mean, I think it was from a price per piece count. You know, generally speaking, it was a good price. What I'm curious about is is this set on top here like this and. Is there, but is this the vintage Lego that he had? And is there vintage Lego inside of here? Is there more minifigs? Is there other great, you know, really great parts and stuff like that? That remains to be seen. But regardless, price per piece count is still a very, very, a very good, uh, very good deal. So we'll see. There's some junk and knockoff bricks and things like that. So we'll have to go through all of this, but that will come uh, in a later video, and um, this is a great opportunity to show off the How We Clean Bulk Lego and stuff, so look for that video coming soon. But thanks for coming with me, friends, on this little sort of impromptu Lego, Bulk Lego haul that we did today, where we met Zach and uh, got some more Bulk Lego that we didn't need. But uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, Keep on building. Jim out!